usually we study the Cobb Douglas production function and it is also known as the workhorse production function but there are other types of production functions for example the constant elasticity of substitution production function and it is a more general form of a production function it contains Cobb Douglas production function as one of its possibilities and in this video we will be studying about this uh, its idea and then its various aspects the way we have studied the Cobb Douglas before so I suggest that you subscribe to this channel and learn about relatively new things that they have to offer in economics research and in quantitative aspects so now let's focus on this keyword that is constant elasticity of substitution we will be clear about this word as we go ahead but primarily we should understand the origin of it that is it was basically um, tossed after approximately 40 years of the Cobb Douglas production function there was a quartet of economists and mathematicians uh, Arrow who was a very well known mathematical economist and Chenery and Minhas and Solo one, or one of the Nobel laureates in economics so accordingly an acronym was developed that is ACMS Aero, Chenry, Minhas and Solo they gave this idea which was known as the constant elasticity of substitution we have the idea about the elasticity of substitution in our previous videos you can go back to those um, so why it is constant we'll learn about it and it's very easy to understand what they did is they took uh, cross-sectional data of 24 industries of uh, various countries and they tried to investigate the restriction that is imposed by Cobb Douglas production function that is lambda is equal to 1 which means that there is constant returns to scale in the production function but they found in many cases that lambda was not necessarily equal to 1 it means that there is not it is not necessary that in every case constant returns to scale holds so Cobb Douglas function was not the adequate description of the data generating processes we needed a better production function that could consider those cases where the lambda is not equal to 1 so what they did is they used the empirical data and they came up with the mathematical form of it and it uh, had the abilities of being homogeneous in terms of inputs and it had a constant elasticity of substitution between the inputs that is labor and capital and it had the possibility of different elasticities for different industries so the constant elasticity of substitution doesn't mean that it will remain same for all the industries it means that it will be constant in terms of its value it will not be variable but when it comes to a different industry it can vary but within the industry it is likely to remain the same and is not likely to be affected by any variable like capital or variable so they found these three uh, features and now we come to the standard form of this ACMS finding so this is the standard form we have capital we have labor in it the two independent variables that determine the output and also we have gamma that I mentioned earlier it's basically the efficiency parameter that determines the efficiency of the production function because you can see this is the part that determines the output whereas this is a coefficient so if the coefficient is equal to 1 it will keep the production at the same level if it is greater than 1 it is going to increase the production manifold depending upon its value if it is 2 it will twice the production if it is less than 1 it will reduce it that is make uh, for example if it is 0.5 it is going to reduce the output uh, to half of it so it is the efficiency parameter and technology can determine this rule so that it can improve the output the same labor the same capital can be improved and can give us more output then we have um, row here in three places at least we can see it 
and uh, the row is actually the substitution parameter which is a pivotal parameter because quite a bit depends upon it this determines the elasticity of substitution and then we have distribution parameter uh, where uh, we have uh, the its uh, symbol as delta if it is delta with one of the factors of production it is one minus delta with other because it is showing the distribution if it is 0.5 it should also be 0.5 if it is 0.3 it will become 0.7 so it is the distribution parameter half of it will be distributed here some of it i should say and remaining will be distributed on the other factor of production then we have this v here it is the degree of homogeneity it will allow us to test the degree of homogeneity and also the returns to scale now these are a few parametric stipulations of these uh, symbols the substitution parameter ranges from minus 1 till infinity and the distribution parameter as already mentioned it will be a kind of fraction a decimal value between 0 and 1 if if a delta becomes 1 it means that 1 minus delta will become 0 and labor will be excluded from the production function so this is one of the extreme cases mathematically speaking whereas we know usually both labor and capital are required because of their complementarity then we have uh, v which is the degree of homogeneity and gamma is also there both of them are positive because uh, this shows the efficiency it can be equal to one it can be less than one but negative value doesn't make sense it means destruction and v is the degree of homogeneity it is also positive great equal to one less than one or greater than one now for the sake of simplicity we assume that v is equal to one which means that we'll write one here and uh, furthermore we are going to shift this bar to the other side that is will raise to the power uh, raise power minus rho here the benefit of doing it will be that we will not have to solve this whole power because this whole power will be very difficult some sort of binomial expansion or theorem will be used here to expand so we want to avoid that intricacy and we will continue using this expression because this is easier to solve because there will be no whole power so this uh, power is cancelled out by raising minus rho as the power on both sides it also appears on this uh, parameter because this was with no power at all uh, except for one so we brought uh, minus rho on it as well on this it got cancelled out now we can generalize this form um, either this form or that form we use this form you can see that we have used uh, a number of factors of production ranging from v1 to vn and it is v1 v2 and then it finally comes down to vn and we have uh, a number of uh, uh, factors of production so it is extendable to any number of factors of production for example capital labor energy and material and these are the distribution parameters instead of delta we are using alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha and and so on just to uh, avoid the uh, exhaustion of the symbols because if we use delta then other will be 1 minus delta and there will be no uh, other possibility for the remaining parameters for n factors of production so all of these distribution uh, distribution parameters they will be uh, if we sum them they will be equal to 1 because it is distribution and the whole will be equal to 1 so this is the general form of uh, CES production function, the details of which we will study in the upcoming videos. Thank you.